Okay, so that was a pretty big mistake. Okay, good morning, and it's barely morning. I didn't really get the early start that I wanted to get. But look outside, man. I just cannot get over that view. Uh, as you can see, it's really sunny today, which is great. Some low-hanging clouds, and that's not bad at all. But what you can see here on this tree branch is that it is unbelievably windy today. Anyways, uh, so I currently am right here, Lago Gray Hotel. Now, I wanted to go all the way around here, over here, and do this little hike, but I simply don't have the gasoline for it because I drove kind of down here from a little detour yesterday, then drove up here and then back. So what I'm gonna do is there's this, uh, here's my hotel. There's this little hike right here to the farrier lookout. And I wanna do that one. Now, you have to walk up, it's like a 700 meter climb, which is about 1500 feet. It says it takes a few hours uh, and it's supposedly pretty Pretty difficult but you're awarded with one of the best views because you can see all the various lakes and you kind of can see the entire park um, so I think I'm gonna do that because honestly I'd, I gotta worry about the gas because the nearest gas station is 62 miles away so I don't want to drive all the way around the park and then get in a, a, a bad gas situation <laughs> still dry. I don't know why I said it that way. My feet are still dry. Uh, so now it's just back to being really exhausting. So uh, got that going for me, which is nice. So that right there is where I started. So at least I can say I'm making progress. Here's the first sign. Here's the second one. some pictures here turn around and head back down as much as I would love to keep going I got a flight to catch tomorrow my dog is barking you know so as much as that's frustrating it is making the right decision even if it's not the one you want to make You don't have a good center of gravity or good balance you will head down the mountain just whether you're heading down via steps or sliding on your face so now back to the waterfall part I had casually named these the waterfalls of ultimate death uh, they were interesting enough to traverse going uphill. Let's see if I can make this happen without getting my feet soaked going downhill.
did it. Now it's just one last puddle, and then I'll be good. That away, me. Well, I didn't get to see the guide, but uh, made sure to check out. So when you come here, you have to check in and check out at each one of these little stations so they have a good idea of who's up there on the trails. Um, so I have about two hours until I need to be back here for a football game, not one that I'm playing a part in or anything like that. Now for those of you who don't know, I went to Texas A&M University. We are playing uh, the UCLA Bruins tonight back in California, which is famous for being nowhere near Chile. Uh, the Wi-Fi here isn't excellent, but it's good enough to refresh a web page so I can keep up with the game. So I'm gonna sit by the bar, have a couple drinks. Depending on how the game goes, maybe have a couple more drinks, um, have a burger, and that'll be my last night uh, here in Torres del Paine. And then I head back to the US tomorrow. And that is why they tell you to drive slowly on these roads. All right, so I'm back at my spot again, and I'm totally doing the Nerd Factor 5000 thing. So I have Sony A7R2, really right stuff, panoramic, gimbal, taking a picture of this whole scene right here. So it's turning out to be pretty nice. That's the wind outside this window. Now I'm gonna try to go up there, see if I can get a better view of the uh, of the towers and maybe find one more good uh, sunset shot before heading back to the hotel. I'm not excited about that wind, but at the end of the day, I didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Okay, so that was a pretty big mistake. A, the view wasn't that good, and B, the wind was probably gusting 60 or 70 miles an hour. It literally knocked me over, like completely fell down. Um, <laughs> I'm okay, but oh my gosh, I've never felt that kind of wind before. Uh, anyways, I think that's my cue to go ahead and call it a day picture taking uh, because yeah with this win there's no way I would take anything worthwhile anyway so back to the hotel for some fighting Texas Aggie football mm -hmm.